Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Decree Number 58 of 2019, appointing Deputy Chief Executive Officers at the Labour Market Regularity Authority, the LMRA. Under the Royal Decree, Ashraf Hafiz Imam was appointed as Deputy CEO for Resources and Services, Ali Mohammed Al Kohji as Deputy CEO for Operations and Information Systems, and Dr. Khalid Mohammed Abdurrahman Ahmed as Deputy CEO for Legal Control at LMRA. His Majesty also issued Decree Number 59 of 2019, appointing Nof Abdurrahman Jamshir as Deputy Chief Executive Officer at the Urban Planning and Development Authority with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary. His Majesty the King also issued Decree Number 60 of 2019, appointing Deputy Chief Executive Officers at the Information and E-Government Authority, the IGA. Under the Royal Decree, Dr. Zakaria Ahmed al Khaja was appointed as Deputy CEO for Electronic Transformation and Nabil Mohammed bin Shams as Deputy CEO for Statistics and Population Registry at IGA. He also issued Decree Number 61 of 2019, appointing Marwan Fuad Salman Kamal as Director General for Planning and Resources at the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Secretariat General. His Majesty the King also issued Decree Number 62 of 2019, appointing Ghada Hamid Habib Ahmed as Deputy Ombudsman at the Interior Ministry with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary. The Royal Decree stipulates that she will serve for a renewable five-year term. He also issued Decree Number 63 of 2019, restructuring the Board of Directors of the National Space Science Agency, the NSSA, under the chairmanship of Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed. NSSA's board comprises Sheikh Naif bin Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Naji Sept Salim Sept, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Air Commander Walid Rabi Al Dosri. Captain Jamal Jasim Abdullah Dawadi and University of Bahrain President as members for a four-year term. His Majesty also issued Decree Number 64 of 2019, amending Article 1 of Decree Number 16 of 2019 on restructuring the Board of Directors of the Education and Training Quality Authority. Ayman Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad is appointed as board chairman, succeeding engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, and will serve the remaining period of his predecessor. Meanwhile, Amna Ali Al Rayyad is appointed as board member, succeeding Hamid Faisal Al Maliki, and will serve the remaining period of her predecessor. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Morocco, Sri Lanka, UK, Mongolia and Afghanistan. The Moroccan ambassador Mustafa bin Khayi arrived at Sakhir Palace. He was received by the head of Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. Mustafa bin Khayi then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Morocco to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty and the ambassador.
Later, the Sri Lankan Ambassador Pradeep Prayagani Saram arrived at the palace. She was met by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. Pradeep Pariyagani Saram then presented her credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Sri Lanka to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. Later, the UK ambassador Roddy Drummond arrived at the palace. He was met by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. Roddy Drummond then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of the UK to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty and the ambassador. Later, the Mongolian ambassador Chintosheng Zurich arrived at the palace. He was met by the head of the royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. Sheikh Zurek then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Mongolia to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. Later, the Afghan ambassador Sayyid Jalal Karim arrived at the palace. He was met by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. Jalal Karim then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Afghanistan to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ceremony was attended by the Minister of Royal Court, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Head of Royal Protocol. His Majesty the King praised the close relations between King Bahrain and their countries and the progress of these relations in many areas. For their part, the ambassadors conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of their leaders and their wishes of good health and happiness to His Majesty and progress and prosperity to Bahrain.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict No. 18 of 2019 reforming the border of Bahrain Internet Exchange, the BIX. Under the edict, the board will be chaired by Sheikh Badr bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and will comprise Mas'ab Ahmed Abdullah, Colonel Mohammed Abdullah Taif Al Mahmoud, Taha Faqihi, and Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa as members. The membership will be of a renewable term of one year. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Gulabiya Palace a number of royal family members and senior officials at the kingdom where His Royal Highness directed concerned authorities to preserve heritage in various areas in the kingdom, affirming the government's keenness on developing old areas in line with citizens' needs and contributing to developing services. His Royal Highness asserted the importance of preserving Bahrain's heritage and its historical and archaeological sites and highlighting their value to become witness for the kingdom's heritage to future generations. His Royal Highness affirmed that preserving heritage is a duty and a necessity to maintain the national identity. He hailed the keenness of the people of Bahrain on adhering to their values and traditions, asserting that the development of the kingdom and its prosperity embodies their devotion to their country. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued two edicts for 2019, appointing directors at the Information and E-Government Authority and Labour Market Regularity Authority. Edict number 26 of 2019 stipulated the appointment of the following at the Information and E-Government Authority: Ahmed Isa Abul Fath as Director of the Emergency Directorate; Sheikh Manar bin Abdullah bin Ali Al Khalifa, Director of Geographical Information Systems; Sheikh Sabah bin Hamad bin Abdullah. Abdullah Al Khalifa, Director of Identity and Population Registry, Hassan Mohammed Hassan Ali, Director of Wireless Licenses, Frequencies and Monitoring, Dr. Khalid Ahmed Al Mutawa, Director of Governance and Enterprise Architecture, Abdullah Habib Mustafa Mohammed, Director of Government Systems Development, Hisham Ibrahim Al Hashmi, Director of Government Systems Support and Maintenance, Dunya Faisal Sarhan, Director of Change Management and Business Process Re Engineering, Lulwa Sam Ibrahim, Director of Communications in marketing, Rani Abdurrahman Al Bayanin, Director of Operations, Ali Mohammed Zayani, Director of Information Security Services, and Abdullah Ali Joder, Director of E Service and Channel Development. Edict number 27 of 2019 stipulated the appointments of directors at the Labour Market Regularity Authority as follows. Sheikh Abdullah bin Abdurrahman bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Director of Policies and Market Information. Shireen Khalil Mohammed Al Saati, Director of Grievances and Protection. Hana Abdul Nabi Hassan Al Safar, Director of Communications. Ali Khalifa Ali Al Bin Ali, Director of Human Resources. Ahmed Ibrahim Mohammed Al Jnain, Director of Preemptive Inspection. Imam Abdul Jalil Mohammed. Shabib, Director of Employer Services, Mohammed Abdel Saleh Al Ahmadi, Director of Audit and Development, Sheikh Ali bin Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Director of Wage Protection, Hassan Jamal Abdel Rahim Al Rahma, Director of Licensing, Nadal Salman Al Bana, Director of Expatriate Services, Yahya Abdel Karim Mohammed Al Ali, Director of Application Processing, and Mohammed Ahmed Matar Al Bismid, Director of Legal Affairs. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to develop government services provided to citizens, the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, visited the Comprehensive Customer Care Center of the Authority to inspect the workhorse in that vital department. The Minister stated that EWA is keen on developing its services and aims to find the easiest means to provide them to citizens. He stated that the achievements made stem from the directives and unlimited support 
support of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, expressing appreciation for the support. The minister and officials toured the department and listened to a briefing on the centre's work for all consumers in the kingdom, the mechanism of answering all phone calls, the modern system used by the centre and the services it provides, such as receiving complaints, inquiries and meter readings. The Minister of Labour and Social Development and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labour Market Regulatory Authorities, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan, affirmed the importance of the positive results achieved by the National Employment Programme, which was launched upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Hamedan stated that the programme aims to create more job opportunities for citizens and to integrate them into the job market while giving priority to Bahraini citizens. He noted that the National Employment Programme is one of the vital programmes that contributed to employing job seekers in high-quality jobs that pay between 300 to 800 Bahraini dinars.